Hello, my name's Gordon Dreisel. I'm the director of culinary at Scoma's in San Francisco, Fisherman's Wharf. I'm going to be making two different preparations of oysters today. One, a simple uh, mignonette. That's a uh, French sauce based with vinegar. I'm using champagne vinegar from Sparrow Lane, a local producer, with shallots, salt and pepper in it, and uh, beautiful oysters from our local uh, oyster company, Hog Island. We're going to be using uh, shallots, simple shallots here, diced up, very fine. We cut the shallots very fine so that uh, the shallot goodness imbues the vinegar and takes some of the bite at the same time out of the vinegar itself. We're mincing these shallots very fine. We're going to be putting those shallots into a small container here. Okay, the shallots get immersed in a nice crisp vinegar. In this case, we're using champagne. As I mentioned before, this is Sparrow Lane. That's a vinegar company right out of Sonoma, which I think is cool. Supporting the local uh, producer economy is something that we take great pride and pleasure in. Pepper, salt, handy dandy mixing stick here. And we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes while we actually shuck our oysters. We usually like to carry a uh, uh, Pacific Northwest oyster as well as a uh, local oyster. Uh, that would be a Hog Island oyster. Anybody thinking about oyster, opening an oyster at home should uh, have an oyster knife, which is kind of essential, and a very thick towel that they very carefully wrap over the oyster every single time. All you have to do is impale yourself with this oyster knife just once and you'll never forget it. There is a little spot on oysters right at the back that's the hinge. That's where they open themselves up to be able to uh, do their filter feeding. That's what we're attacking right there, the little hinge. That's six oysters. We're gonna shake this out right here. Get rid of our shells right here. Now we're going to cut the adductor muscle underneath. And while we're there, we're gonna look around to make sure there's no shell fragments in there. Nothing takes the fun out of eating an oyster like getting a big chunk of very crispy shell in your mouth. We're gonna take our mignonette right now, spoon it into our little cup here. Arrange our Oysters artfully on our stark white plate here, our Noma-like plate. These are called Oysters Mignonette. We're gonna be doing a preparation, very simple preparation, called an oyster Shooter right now. We're gonna be using Totten Island oysters from Washington and a house-made Bloody Mary mix from Scomas. And we're cutting that little mussel. We're gonna poke around in there to make sure there's no shell. Uh, there's one right there. All right. We have the aforementioned Bloody Mary mix, Scoma's Bloody Mary mix, Scoma's famous Bloody Mary mix right here. And the presentation couldn't be easier. You gotta find the little uh, oddly shaped glass first. That would be challenging. And then, voila, magnifique.